Do you want to see the most expensive sports card in the world? I'm going to show that to you and so much more here from the show floor of the National. This year's National is brought to you by Midwest Cards, the official wax sponsor of Sports Card Investor. With an amazing selection of wax on their website, check them out at MidwestCards.com. Hey guys, I'm here with Carlo at Golden, and wow, you got some cards to show. Grails. Absolute grails. Let me take a peek at these. Sure. So first one, this is live right now. Wow. That's our triple logo, man. Exquisite. That is incredible. Right? That is incredible. The big three. Wow, Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Hey, unbelievable, unbelievable. Now you guys have become famous for the Triple Logo right, Man because you right. sold the LeBron. the LeBron Triple Logo sure. Man recently. This one probably is gonna do more. I think it is. So, you know, LeBron did 2.4, it's a great sale. This is live right now, already at 1.6, still over a week to go, so. And by the way, those are millions, right. ladies millions, and gentlemen. That's right. Millions, just to be clear. That's incredible. That's amazing. So, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's going to do better than the LeBron triple. And I mean, look, these are the three goats. Exquisite's the best brand. Unbelievable. Masterpiece. That is one of the greatest cards I have ever, ever seen. Absolutely. But you got some other incredible ones as some, well. Somehow we can keep topping this. So next up, not on auction yet, but I mean, come on. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> this is nuts. These autographs look wet. So this is a dual logo, man, LeBron and Kobe. But, but the difference between this and the triple is you've got the actual signatures on the card as well. 2004 Upper Deck Exquisite Collection. So second year LeBron. Second year, right. Uh, unbelievable. The autos are just so so bold, so blue. I mean, this is a multi-million dollar card without a doubt. Auto grade of 10, so not currently for auction. Right. Maybe in someday? In the future, in the future. Maybe yeah, someday. In the future. There's, there's a little sneak peek right now, but I mean, once again, just a card yeah, I mean, who's seen this, right? It's You've never seen this card. Look at those autographs. Unbelievable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your money bags ready for this next one. You guys ready? Let's take a look. The grail of all grails. The grail of all grails. That's it. The Honus. Honus Wagner, the T206 set. Right. Now, this one has such a rich history in the hobby, such mystique right. around this card. And so this one, is this one coming up in the future? Possibly. I mean, you know, th this one obviously at least four mil, possibly five. I mean, 1.5 grade as we know, so many are just authentic. So to even have the numerical grade is awesome. I love the color on this. It's centered pretty well. It's a very, it's got good eye appeal. Yes. It really does. The color on it, as you said, is sharp on that one. It's not faded. Right, right. You know, like some of them are. So this could be a $5 million card. Absolutely. Car. And this is the holy grail. Like you said, the mystique, the mystery about it. Did he not want to be a part of tobacco cards? Did it get pulled from the printing plate? How many are out there? This has been the most famous card for forever. That's amazing. Carlo, thanks I'm for in. sharing this with Thank us, man. So much, Golden, yeah. awesome, incredible stuff. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Jason from Heritage and we're going to get to this card in just a minute. But you've got a couple of other incredible cards at auction right now to show me too. I do. We have a 2000 Playoff Contenders oh, wow. Championship. It's number to 100. It's Tom Brady's most iconic yes. rookie card. This is a BGS 8.5 with a 10 auto. Very it's, high grade of this card. It is. It's a very difficult card to get in that high of a grade. We have it estimated at over a million dollars and I yeah. think it's going to hit that and more. That's or two beautiful. million dollars. I'm sorry. Estimated at $2 million. million. I was yes, going to say, $2 million a million sounded like I a know, deal. A million dollars, We're about deal. to give people a deal at a million, but okay, $2 million. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a little more reasonable. There you go. But this one, too. Speaking of a million dollars. Yeah, seriously, look so at this. So this is 1979 Tops Wayne Gretzky yes. Rookie. It's a PSA 10. There's only two of them known in this grade. There's two OPG 10s. We famously sold an OPG yeah. 10 for $3.7 million. It's the same image. It's just as rare. Right. And this one can be had, hopefully, for over a million dollars. Unbelievable. Yep. Looks absolutely beautiful. Clean, crisp copy. It's, it's perfect. Greatest hockey player of all time, yes. the goat of hockey. And that's the, this is the one of the goat of hockey cards right there. Yep. Incredible. All right, I'm giving those two back to you. It's amazing that a card could steal the thunder away from those two, but that's exactly what's happening with this card. Talk to me about this unbelievable Mickey Mantle card. Well, I'd love to talk to you about it, but actually I have the owner right here. And he, 
be able to tell you more about it than I can. This is your card, sir? Wow. How you doing, Jeff? Hey, Jeff, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Absolutely, so you own this card? I did. You did. Well, it's up for auction now, right? Yeah, and I correct. think it's currently over six million. Yep. What 6 are you hoping? What are you hoping it goes for? Anything over fifty-five thousand, I made a profit. Wow. That, that, anything over fifty-five thousand, I made a profit. I'm not a greedy guy. I'm hoping it's the first ten million dollar <laughs> plus card in the sports card hobby. Yep. Fingers crossed. I think it will be. Yep. So you acquired this card for fifty-five thousand dollars. No, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand yep. dollars. Tell me. Tell me the story of this. Oh, nineteen ninety-one. Okay. My son and I walked into the Madison Square Garden show on Father's Day weekend, and we were looking for a mantle card for about two years. And my son said, Dad, the nicest card you're ever going to find is over there. And your buddy Alan Rosen's got it. So I offered him the 50. We went back. Alan said, You got the money now? I said, No, I don't carry 50000 in my pocket, but I had a check. I gave him a deposit. And then the following day, we went back and we purchased it from him. So you've had this in your. In my in, in your personal room. possession, yeah. all the way back, 1991. To 1991. Yeah. Where, whereas it sat the whole time. Sat in the dark in my memorabilia room. Okay. I mean, and saw, then saw light about once a month. And it wasn't graded. No, no it wasn't until graded recently. up to last month. Yeah. Until last month. So yeah. last month you got it graded by SGC. Yep. It came out as the 9.5, okay. the highest SGC has ever graded of that card. Correct. And, and the only 9.5. And the only 9.5. And here it is, on auction. Yep. So why now? Why did you decide that now was the moment to sell it? Um, I guess because my my boys and my family enjoyed it, and yeah. my friends all saw it, so I said it's time for somebody else to get it and for, for them to join. It. But to me, one of these cards belongs in Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Whether it's this one or another one, but they got to get one of these cards in Yankee Stadium. I agree. So you need to tell Steinbrenner to step up to the plate. Okay. All right. Hopefully he's out there. Hopefully, hopefully one of the Steinbrenner <laughs> boys out there watching this and is going to bid on this card. That is uh, that is incredible. That is absolutely yeah. wild. Thank Fifty thousand dollars to who knows what? Yeah, and it hopefully broke, ten million. And it broke a record back then. Yeah, was the most uh, at that time sold for forty-two, but book value was only eight thousand. Okay, so it so. broke the record then. It's breaking the record once again now. Yep. That is an incredible story. Thanks. Congratulations Thanks. on such a wonderful My card, pleasure. and thanks for sharing that. Thank with you. Us. you bet. Hey guys, I'm here with Jesse from PWCC, and they had a big card in their showcase that caught my eye as an Atlanta Brave. This is the legend. This is the legend. Hank Aaron, Henry Aaron, yep. and this is the legendary car. Tell me about this. So 1954 tops, Hank Aaron rookie. This is a PSA 9, and it is a PWCC A sticker. So from an eye appeal perspective, it's a gorgeous copy. Um, there's only two 10s that exist on the planet, and this is probably one of the nicer 9s that you're ever going to find. Yeah, only 25 9s, and of those 25 9s, this has got to be in the very upper echelon. Oh, yeah. Your PWCC A sticker, what percentage does that mean? That means it's in the top 30%. Top 30%. Right, so of, of you, all copies that exist. So you guys would say that it's it's definitely one of the 10 best 9s that exist. So this yeah. is a top 10, top 12 Hank Aaron card in existence. 100%. Uh, yeah, which is absolutely incredible. Is this one you guys have at auction now? It will go live next Thursday, okay. August 4th. Um, it is a beautiful piece. We expect this thing to maybe get close to a million dollars because it is one of the nicest anchor and rookies yeah. in the world. It's well, it's well deserved. Yeah. What a beautiful card. Yeah. That's awesome. Jesse, thanks for showing it. PWCC, hey, you, got it, man. you guys Great always have amazing it. stuff. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And now for something completely different. I'm here with Hannah from Collectors, the parent company of PSA. Hannah, tell me about this iconic piece here that you guys have on display in a PSA slab. Yeah, this is an unbelievable asset that's in the collector's vault right now. You guys already know who owns it, Logan Paul. He wears it to every match that he has. Um, fascinating item, the highest graded illustrator. Obviously, right now you can see how shiny it is. It has gold, it has diamonds, everything around it. In a customized case, it's absolute beauty. And I think this went for about $5 million. That's right. right. He this purchased is... it for about $5 million. Who knows how much it's valued today, but I, I imagine it's north of that. Unbelievable. The yes. crazy thing is that isn't even the most expensive thing in your booth here. We're going to get to that. That's good. But I want to show these off here as well. For sure. We've, we've seen a couple of Logo Mans, but these are true, unique, one-of-a-kind Logo Mans. Tell me about these. Yeah, it's insane. If you look at the stitching of some of these Logo Mans compared to these versus the modern jerseys, the stitching, you know, like, it's, it's entirely different. If you look closely, um, for the Michael Jordan and the Kobe Bryant, they're both one-of-ones. 
logo man, auto, I mean, unbelievable cars. Do you have any idea how much these are worth? I mean, I can take a very, very, you know, wild guess on this. I mean, on the Jordan, probably around 1.5 million, maybe a little bit above that. Kobe also, given like sort of his reputation, how much he's contributed to the NBA, probably around the same for 1.5. Yeah, yeah, incredible. If not more, they're yeah. incredible one of one pieces. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't think they'll come on sale for a long time. So. No, but that pales in comparison oh, to yeah. what you are about to see. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Sit down, sit down in your seats because here we go. We got to work our way over here to this unbelievable card. Hannah, yeah. wow. I mean, we're looking at history. We're looking at an art piece. I mean, for us to have this item here, I mean, so many people involved, but really amazing. We, I mean, if we, I mean, PSA 10, are you kidding me? Back from 19... One of three PSA 10, yes. 1952 mantles in the world, right? That's right. And one of the best copies, in my opinion, for I appeal. Um, 30 to $35 million estimate on this card. Who knows if it, what it would actually fetch if it ever went for sale. I'm not sure it's ever gonna go for sale. Probably not. This is owned by the owner of the Diamondbacks. That's right, Ken yeah. Kendrick himself, and he was very gracious enough for us to have these items displayed here. I mean, you only see these kind of cards at the National, I guarantee you. Yeah, this is truly an unbelievable one-of-a-kind piece. To have a card this old, 1952, that's been preserved in such perfect condition. I mean, the thing is, is, is flawless, it yeah. just looks, the image is bold and bright, and it's the amazing. card looks absolutely incredible. It's amazing, and you know, there's one that's currently in auction for SGC 9.5. When you compare those cards, just eye appeal wise, it's it compares miles, right? Yeah. So, truly an, an art piece, in my opinion. It is an absolute yeah. art piece. This is incredible, Hannah. The most expensive sports card of all time, yeah. sitting right here. Thank you so much Thanks, for showing Jeff. us this, and guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed all of our coverage from National. There's more to come. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. We'll see you back soon with our next episode. Yay. Take care.